Hi, I'm Kristen Oviedo, and today we're going to talk about how to determine the number of degrees for the vertex angle of a regular octagon. So for this problem, we're going to need to use two basic geometric principles. So the first geometric principle is that any complete circle all the way around once is going to encompass 360 degrees. So that means that no matter how many little pizza slices you cut it into, if you add up all of the little tiny angles on the inside, they're all going to equal 360 degrees. The second principle is that any random triangle, no matter what its shape, will add up to 180 degrees when you add up all of the little inside angles. So it doesn't matter if it's a right triangle or a really, really skinny triangle, all of these will add up to 180 degrees. So the plan of attack here is going to be to split up the shape into a bunch of little triangles and then use these two principles to figure out all of the angles involved. And this won't just work for our octagon, this will work for almost any geometric shape you can think of as long as you can split it up into either triangles or rectangles. But here we're gonna use triangles or pizza slices as I like to call them. So let's remind ourselves how many degrees each of these encompasses. So once again, this is 360 degrees always, and this is 180 degrees always, as far as all of the angles added up goes. So now we're gonna split up our octagon into pizza slices by connecting the opposite corners all the way across. And we wanna make sure that our lines meet perfectly in the middle if possible. Almost. Okay, so if this were a perfect drawing, all of these triangles would be exactly the same shape. So we're going to assume that they are the same shape for our purposes. So with this principle, we know that all of these are going to add up to 360, but we already know that they're all the same triangle, so all of these angles are the same. We can just call it A. So we basically have eight angles that are all the same and they all add up to 360. So we basically just need to take 360 and divide it by eight and we get 45. So we know that every single one of these angles is 45 degrees. So now that we know the vertex angle, the interior angles of all these triangles, and we know that the triangles are identical, it's really not hard to figure out all of the other little angles in question. So every little pizza slice that I've drawn here is going to be a little equilateral triangle, which means that this angle, we'll call it B, and this angle will be the same. But those are the same as all of these other ones, so we could just label every single one B, and I won't do that right now, but you know that these are all B. So using this principle, we can draw a little mini version of one of our pizza slices and just say that 45 plus B plus B equals 180. So from there, it's really simple to figure out what B is, and then you have all of the angles in question for your octagon. I'm Kristen Oviedo, and that's how you find the number of degrees of the vertex angle of a regular octagon. Mm -hmm.